Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw sound waves. Let's open a new document, get rid of the fill and make sure the stroke is on top. Next, select the pen tool or the line segment tool and draw a straight line. With the line selected, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Set the ridges per segment to 100, the size to about 77 and the points to smooth. Next open the brushes window and drag this line into it. Select the pattern brush and click OK. Changing the color method to tints will allow us to apply a different color later on. Now delete this line, we won't need it anymore. Let's draw another line and apply the new brush we've created. Next select the width tool. Now click anywhere on the line, hold and drag to decrease or increase the height. And repeat this several times. To increase or decrease the wave period, first we need to expand the line. With the line selected, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Next, press the letter C for the Scissors tool and make a few cuts. Let's make one here, next one here and one more. Switch to the Selection tool, select everything, right click and choose Ungroup. And we've got four separate segments. I'm going to change their colors so you can see it better. To change the wave period, first select one of the segments and then drag the bounding box to decrease or increase the wave period. Let's copy and paste this segment over here. And again. Next we'll join the segments together. Let's zoom in. Switch to the direct selection tool and draw a box to select these two end anchor points. Now press the Ctrl and J keys on your keyboard to join them together. And repeat this with the other segments. If necessary, switch to the Delete Anchor Point tool and click on the anchor point to delete it. Let's join these two anchor points. We can use the round corner widget to smooth the line or delete the anchor point like we did before. To adjust the curves, switch to the anchor point tool, click on the desired anchor point, hold and drag. And let's join these two ends as well. If you wish, select everything and increase or decrease the stroke's weight. Let's stretch the bounding box so it fits across the artboard. Next, we will add a background. First, create a new layer, bring it to the bottom and lock the top layer. Make sure the bottom layer is selected and then swap the fill and the stroke. Choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Now add a simple gradient. Dark colors on the outside and lighter in the middle. Let's change the angle to 90. Next create one more layer and lock the layer with the gradient. Let's repeat the same process, but this time 
change the middle color stub to white and turn the opacity of the outer color stubs to zero. If you wish, lower the opacity of the white color stub to 70%. Now change the angle to 90. Finally, press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust it if needed. Now unlock the tab layer and change the stroke to a desired color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.